Are you looking for the best Canon cameras? In this video, we will look at some of the 6 best Canon cameras on the market. Before we get started with our video, we have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Starting at number 1. Canon EOS R. This Canon camera is one of the best mirrorless Canon cameras out there, it has a great handling and an excellent AF performance. It has a new Digic 8 processing engine and a great ISO range of 100 to 40,000. For new RF lenses are being launched with the OSR, the RF 24 to 105 mm f 4L is USM, RF 28 to 70 f 2L USM RF 50 mm f 1.2 USM and RF 35 mm f 1.8 are STM macro. Too many Canon users have been waiting for the EOS R, the question is will it satisfy them? Canon delivers to us a pretty cool design, with dimensions of 5.3x3.9x3.3 slash 135.8x98.3x84.4mm, it weights around 1.45 pounds slash 660G with battery and memory card and it feels great on hands. It has a built-in EVF with 3.69 million dots, very angle touchscreen, and dot matrix LCD panel. The eos -er has a redeveloped lens mount and an updated full-frame image sensor for a unique multimedia camera system. It has plenty of modes, aperture priority, bulb, custom, intelligent auto, manual, shutter priority, and programmed auto. It blasts a 30.3 megapixel full-frame with CMOS sensor and Digic 8 image processor, and maybe it doesn't provide resolution options for higher frame rates, but this doesn't mean that you can't take the photo you were looking for. It's very simple and easy to use even if you haven't shot Canons before I am pretty sure that you will find that it's easy to navigate moving on Canon delivers a superb autofocus for static subjects, it focuses very quickly and it's pretty accurate even in low light conditions. The company claims that the EOS R can focus down to dash 6 EV when using an f 1.2 lens which is pretty awesome based on my research about the digital cameras and I can say that it offers excellent AF performance compared to other mirrorless cameras. Also, it does a brilliant job when it comes to focus tracking but not on low light, as while it perhaps doesn't give us the resolution and dynamic range as the pricier 42MP and 45MP sensor rivals, clearly is the pick of Canon's sensor arsenal at the moment. To sum up I would say that the eos -er was created to be the means to make the most of a new series of lenses and optical technologies. At Number 2. Canon EOS 80D. As we move on we have an excellent camera that makes an extraordinary upgrade from the 70D. If you are looking for a camera that has an extensive feature set with plenty of control options but not a full-on professional-grade camera, this is it. It provides the user with amazing results with plenty of detail. This one features a 24 million pixel sensor with a Digic 6 processing engine this means that it's one step higher than the 70D. It was launched back in 2016, but still, it's one of best Canon cameras for anyone upgrading from a cheaper model. It has a sensor size of 22.5 by 15 mm with a CMOS type with 24.2 megapixel and captures high-resolution images. Noise is controlled well, and although some detail is lost, it still looks pretty good. As it comes to the design, I have to say that it looks beautiful and simple, the majority of the button controls are located on the right side of the camera, and on the back and top plate which are pretty easy to reach as you are holding slash using the camera. However some buttons like the AF, drive, and metering, are designed for use in conjunction with the main dial while you look at the secondary LCD screen, it works well but many will find the touch control afforded by the main screen on the back of the camera more useful. The company doesn't consider the image quality the main thing but makes it available for use if it's needed, it has a way better autofocus system than the 70D, it works perfectly keeping fast-moving subjects sharp even in low light. 80D SAF system has a total of 16 customization options in the menu, these can be useful options, however, the photographer requires a good understanding of the subject and the shooting conditions. If you really want a different image quality, then you have to play with the controls a little bit and get the result you want because the image quality isn't the main objective when it comes to the defaults. I would say that this camera gives you good results as long as you are not a fan of filters. At Number 3. Canon EOS 90D. The Canon EOS 90D is the DSLR version of the mirrorless EOS M6 Mark II since the specs are nearly the same, Canon here lets buyers choose what type of shooting they want, 
a smaller and lighter mirrorless model or a mid-size DSLR with an optical viewfinder. It comes with a 32.5 MP CMOS sensor, and it uses Canon's Digic 8 processor. It has a max resolution of 6960 by 4640 it is weather resistant, has headphone, microphone, and USB-C ports. This one is a DSLR that functions better when used in live view, thanks to the excellent dual pixel AF system. This model is a fraction wider than the ADD, but it is a bit thinner, and it feels extremely comfortable to use because it's aluminum alloy, polycarbonate resin, and it wouldn't bother the photographer even over long durations. It has an 8-way joystick on the rear of the camera which is pretty cool, however, the addition of the joystick means that some of the buttons have been moved around a little. It has a very responsive touch-enabled display. When it comes to AF, this model uses two separate AF systems, this depends on whether you're shooting through the viewfinder or using live view, and the AF spread and several points are much greater in live view. If you let most options to their defaults, the camera will automatically select a subject, generally the nearest subject or face in the scene, nevertheless this can be changed so that you can manually choose your main subject from a focus point. If you want an excellent raw image quality both detail capture and dynamic range this is what you are looking for, it has a lovely optical finder and a pleasing JPEG color. I would like to mention that it has a good battery life too. This camera is capable of turning out excellent images, but in terms of performance, it's best when the mirror is locked up. Anyone who is seeking an easy-to-use DSLR this model is one of them. I love visiting museums when I travel, and this is the camera I take with me when I do that. It's a great camera for photographing art and old sculptures. At Number 4. Canon Rebel SL3. Canon is one of the biggest camera manufacturers in the market, and it is one of the oldest ones to still be in the game. I can say that the company has delivered some super solid cameras throughout the years, especially in the last few years, where none of its models have been amiss. The company's best entry-level or beginner-focused model for this year is the Canon Rebel SL3. This small and lightweight DSLR comes with a great performance and an interesting set of features that will make this camera super attractive to anyone, but especially beginners. It has 4K video shooting capability, great sensor, nice autofocus system, touch controls, superb battery life, and tons of other features that will make this your favorite camera. Dimensions and size-wise the Canon Rebel SL3 has the same measurements as its predecessor the Rebel SL2 as it measures about 2.7 by 4.8 by 3.6 inches, which is also the lightest and the smallest camera in the company's lineup, as the black version weighs exactly 449 grams, which is exceptional. On top of that this device has a tilting LCD screen making it the smallest and lightest with that feature. It is constructed with a combination of aluminum alloy and polycarbonate resin body which makes it extremely durable. Moving on the Canon Rebel SL3 has a great set of controls like in every camera in the company's lineup and it has a great hand grip for handling it properly. I should mention that the LCD screen flips out and is super responsive to the touch allowing you to take great control of the camera, and the viewfinder perfectly complements everything right with the device. The Canon Rebel SL3 has a nice autofocus system, which performs excellently despite being pretty dated by now. It packs a 9-point autofocus system that is arranged in a diamond pattern, which is good for most cases, but it isn't the best for moving objects or super close shots. The Dual Pixel CMOS AF system allows you to position the AF point in 3,975 different areas around the screen for better performance. This camera is packed with the 24.1 MP APS-C sensor that goes hand-in-hand -hand with the amazing Digic 8 processing engine that is responsible for delivering super beautiful photographs without skipping a beat. Overall the performance is perfect for entry-level users as it will teach you a lot about photography and will allow you to have plenty of fun in the process. At Number 5. Canon PowerShot G1X Mark III. Some users do not want to bother with the complicated controls and the size of DSLRs and interchangeable lens mirrorless cameras, while also not liking the downgraded performance of compact cameras. There is a solution coming in with the Canon PowerShot G1X Mark III, which is a great point-and-shoot camera with an APS-C sensor in its small body. On top of that, this camera has a great zoom lens, delivers DSLR quality images, has an electronic viewfinder, and a great number of controls. Compared to its predecessor, the company has chosen a different design for the Canon PowerShot G1X Mark III, 
which is more streamlined and attractive in my opinion. On top of that, it has a nice feeling in hands as it is a little smaller and 15mm thinner than its older counterpart. Also, there are tons of improvements on the body of this beast, including a built-in flash, dust, and drip-proof weather sealing body, which is also pretty durable overall. Without forgetting I should say that the Canon PowerShot G1X Mark III weighs just 399 grams in total. In terms of controls, dials, and buttons, the Canon PowerShot G1X Mark III has brought an enthusiast level of controls to a point-and-shoot camera which is marvelous nonetheless, giving you plenty of creative freedom. It is equipped with a fully articulated 3-inch touchscreen TFT LCD, with 1040K resolution and the electronic viewfinder is also excellent delivering 100% coverage and a great resolution of 2, 360K. The Canon PowerShot G1X Mark III is equipped with a nice autofocus system that does wonders. It features 49 autofocus points stacked in a 7x7 grid that delivers superb coverage and it does everything quickly. There is also the touch and drag autofocus system that can be utilized and thanks to the dual pixel CMOS AF technology everything is better than ever. The Canon PowerShot G1X Mark III is equipped with a great 24.2 MP APS-C CMOS sensor that is present in enthusiast-level cameras. On top of that, the camera is packed with the Digix 7 image processor and engine that is responsible for delivering excellent photographs. The overall performance of the camera was superb and it is possible to get satisfactory results even in high ISO levels. The best point-and-shoot in the market. At Number 6. Canon EOS M50. Moving on we have a pretty powerful mirrorless camera from the company's lineup here, the Canon EOS M50 which is one of my favorite cameras in the market and it delivers so much value for its price, definitely a beast on its league. It is also a very versatile tool capable of doing so much, be it photography, video, wildlife, portraits, street photography, and many more. This camera is going to be your best friend, and if you want to get the most out of your hard-earned money this is it. The Canon EOS M50 has an interesting design that looks a little blockier than most cameras in the company's lineup but not bad by any means. It is built with a strong polycarbonate all around and has a superb feel in hands, with its leatherette effect on the hand grip and its compact dimensions. It is also pretty lightweight measuring about 13.7 ounces in total complete with the battery and memory card. The electronic viewfinder of the device is pretty good as well coming with a 100% coverage of the screen and a resolution of two 360K dots. Moving on the 3-inch 1040K dot fully articulated touchscreen display is pretty good at delivering great previews and creative freedom. In terms of controls and dials, it doesn't deliver the richest options in the market but it is pretty good overall in terms of accuracy and functionality. The Canon EOS M50 is packed with a great 143-point autofocus system with a contrast detect sensor that also takes some performance from the phase detect sensor, delivering a quick and overall great experience. To go along with that sophisticated system, the company also has utilized the dual-pixel CMOS AF system on the main 24.1 MP image sensor of the camera. It also has the Digic 8 image processor that delivers great image quality with plenty of polish and noise reduction. The camera delivers 4K video quality without losing any focus so you can shoot great videos with this. With everything considered and taken into the equation, the Canon EOS M50 is a superb camera that for its price brings more than anything to the table.